On the car side, championship categories are this year split into the production vehicle and special vehicle classes. In the production vehicle category, the cross-country championship has been won by dealer team Toyota pair Arpi Renica and Lucas Dreyer in a Land Cruiser. Group of Africa winners Cliff Barker and Mike Redden in the AAD Land Rover have already clinched the sprint series. In the special vehicle class, a good battle has been raging all season between the father and son pairing of Franz Chepek Sr. and Jr. and the Sulwald brothers, Hermann and Karl Heinz. The Sulwalds clinched the cross-country championship by winning the special vehicle class at the Roof of Africa. But the Chepeks are currently in front in the sprint series in the V-Motors race code. A convincing win for Barker and Redden in the sprint championship with second place still to be decided. Redeker and Drea had a comfortable win in the cross-country rally championship. The off-road season got off to a wet start with the Honey Loop Sun City 400. Two huge thunderstorms decimated the field in what was the opening round of the South African Sprint Series. So poor were the conditions that only four cars made it to the finish, with the father and son team of Franz Chebek Sr. and Jr. taking overall honours. They were followed home by Niels Eriksson and Johnny Walker in a Chenoweth, with Richard Carolyn third in the lubrication equipment single-seater. With the Chebex winning the special vehicle category, the production vehicle class went to Cliff Barker and Mike Redden in the AAD Land Rover. The motorcycle brigade found the going a little easier with Alfie Cox winning his third successive Sun City race on the Pro Action Castrol KTM. Willie Island on the SKF Delmas Diesel Suzuki came in second with a tremendous ride for third place overall, giving Alex Valls Jr. the win in the 200 class. First of the Big Banger 500 class machines across the line was Yuri Human. Next up for the off-road brigade was the Land Rover Barber Spun 1000, first round of the South African Cross Country Series. The win went to Klaus Degener and Thilo van Westenhagen in the BP race car by a wide margin from Hermann and Karl Heinz Sulwald. This gave Degener and van Westenhagen the special vehicle laurels, with Springboks Arti Reinecke and Lucas Dreyer on home territory taking the win in the production category in the dealer team Toyota Land Cruiser. A little slice of South African motor history was written in the motorcycle category, with Richard Manning managing the rare feat of winning a cross-country event on a 200-class machine. It was the second time Manning, on a Winston Yamaha, had won a marathon event on a machine running in off-road's baby class. The second round of the cross-country championship, the Toyota 1000 Desert Race in Botswana, produced a dramatic event. The issue among the cars was only divided over the final 40 kilometers with Rob Wharf in the super paved race coat scoring only his second national championship victory to win the special vehicle category. The production vehicle category went again to Arthur Reinecke and Lucas Dreyer after a dramatic battle with Cliff Barker and Mike Redden in the AAD Land Rover. That man, Alfie Cox, again dominated the motorcycle section. Mounted on the pro-action Castor KTM, Cox cruised to his second win in a row on the Toyota 1000 Desert Race. Second place again went to Darrell Curtis on the Winston Yamaha, with Ati Hoffmeyer causing an upset when he won the 200 class. There was also an upset in the 500 class, with Carl LaRue finishing fifth overall to win the category ahead of more fancy riders. The Queen Motors Fair's Settler 400 in the Eastern Cape was the second round of the National Sprint Series with Herman and Karl Heinz Sulwald scoring their first ever national championship victory, with Franz Chepek and son Franz Jr. second overall in the V-Motors race code. Fifth overall in the AAD Land Rover was enough to give Cliff Barker and Mike Redden victory in the production vehicle category. Second place in the production category went to Springboks, Kasi Kutsia and Richard Leek in the Toyota Highlights. On the motorcycle front, the winner was, guess who? Alfie Cox, of course. Cox came in seven minutes ahead of 500 class winner Yuri Human on the Lesotho office equipment Kawasaki, with Human involved in a tight battle throughout with third place Willie Island. In the 200 category, Graham McLaughlin on the Lesotho office equipment Kawasaki got the better of a good scrap with Richard Manning to win the 200 class. One of the toughest off-road races in the world, the Gestetna Lesotho Sun Roof of Africa Rally brought the curtain down on the cross-country championship. In a stunning upset, the production vehicles overshadowed the special vehicles, with Cliff Barker and Mike Redden taking overall honours in the AAD Land Rover. It was almost 25 years to the day since Land Rover's only other win in the roof by Eddie Kaiser and Brian Sugarman. 
Arch rival Barty Reniker and Lucas Dreyer followed Barker and Redden across the line in the dealer team Toyota Land Cruiser to put the special vehicle brigade in their place. The Solwell brothers Herman and Carl Heinz salvaged some pride for the special vehicles with third place overall and first in the category. There's no prizes for guessing who won the motorcycle category. Alfie Cox once again. Cox was in total control from the word go to cruise to his sixth Roof of Africa triumph. A remarkable feat when you consider that only one other rider has ever won the event more than once. Cox was followed home by Errol Dalton and Darrell Curtis, who rode together for most of the race and enjoyed themselves hugely. They were constantly changing fortunes in the 250 class with Alex Valls, the early leader, only to lose his way and be overtaken by Richard Manning on the Winston Yamaha. Manning then ran into trouble and it was Graham McLaughlin on the Lesotho office equipment Kawasaki who finally took class honours. In the 500 class, Yuri Guman also managed to get himself lost but managed to win the category. 